So this is it guys, we made it to part five of the van build series and this is the one with the tour. So I got this van mid-March, I think, and I've been working on it um, and also staying in it. And I think it's finally at a place where I'd like to show you guys kind of the final tour video. Um, there are a few more things that I still need to do, but it's come far enough along that we're ready for the part five, the, <laughs> the tour. All right, so let's go and begin the tour. <laughs> Here's a look at the inside of my van, my converted 2010 Ford Econoline E350, I believe. Not sure about that. Um, here's the kitchen. It's the largest kitchen I've had in a vehicle yet. Pretty excited. I have a sink. I have a one burner stove. I also have a stove top oven for power. Well, here's a light that I have that goes on and off and it works through this EcoFlow Delta 2 power station that I have under here. That's not its permanent spot, but um, yeah, and I have my phone charger on there and it's great. It's not its permanent spot. I'm gonna move it because it's so close to the water, but for now. I also have these lights. I like to have something that's battery powered in case my um, power station runs out of power. So I do keep those lights as well here are my window covers you can see one has fabric the other one didn't yet they're made with reflectix here's a curtain um, on the back it's just black on one side so it looks a little more stealthy and then uh, the fabric on the inside and i have velcro and so i can lift them up during the day to see when i drive around um, and i'm working on a way to keep them tied up during the day and so i'll just velcro them down on the bottom over here, I keep my clothes. Um, oh, so I have sticky things under everything to keep things from sliding around. Um, that helps. And then I have my clothes. All my clothes go in these drawers right here. And then I have these other drawers on the other side. These are just from Amazon. I figured out the dimensions. Um, so I have kind of personal items, hardware, dog stuff. I got this rug, it's washable. It's from Walmart and it's a five by seven. Um, I don't have anything else on the floor at this point. Here's my kitchen area. I have teas and spices in these bulk jars, like this is cinnamon. And then I also have oils, maple syrup, tamari um, in there. And then a lot of bulk things, rice, lentils, things like that. I keep them in the jars and I keep backups under the bed in the storage there. I also have this kind of pantry area. I used bread boxes. And then I have this one burner stove um, that runs off of butane. I love it. And you can see my tea kettle and that works great. A serious upgrade for me in this build is my sink. And it runs, um, I have the water cooler lead into it and then it drains underneath. All right, here we go. You can see here it draining. I'm gonna get a larger water tank and move the power station. Under the counter, I have a dog crate for Ruby, and then the stove can also go under there. You can see the box right under the stove. Um, so I'm gonna take the box out and just I can just stick the stove in there when I'm not using it. This is my refrigerator. It's a Yeti, a Yeti 35, I believe. And so I keep things like frozen strawberries, um, frozen vegetables, and they stay frozen for quite a while and then as they're thawing, they keep it cool for things like this Parmesan cheese that I have. Here's a look at the van, kind of uh, my bed area. I do have some storage under the bed. It's like stuffed right now. <laughs> I also have a little bit of storage for some dishes back here behind the sink. Um, and then the pots and pans are under the bed there. And then if we go around the back, you can see there's these slide out bins. Um, there's a little extra storage under there. Right now, I think I just have like some clothes, winter clothes I'm not gonna wear and a life straw. Um, I have also my stovetop oven for now until I can move it up under um, the counter. And then I have these bins. This is what's holding up the bed platform. There's four of them. And as long as I don't take them all out at once, I can take them out one at a time and that that's also additional storage in there. Those are great. This is looking through from the back at kind of the setup. 
These are kind of funny. So there were these empty holes in the ceiling where there used to be fans and I just stuffed these flowers. So um, yeah, just to fill them in. And I'll probably add a few more just to make them fuller. So it's a pretty simple build. The only cuts I got were from Home Depot and they do free cuts. Um, that's in one of the videos of the build series. And I did stain the wood. Oh, and I got some L brackets and I've been screwing things down. But it's a pretty simple build. Um, you know, and then as I feel comfortable, I can do other things. Like it would be nice to maybe put some wood floor in at some point, but I'm happy with the way it is. It's comfortable. Um, it feels like home. And I drive this thing around and other than moving the water cooler, I don't move anything. These books often fall off. <laughs> those often fall off and I have to put them back on but other than that and sometimes I'll just take them down when I drive along with the water cooler I'm trying to get everything to the place where I don't have to like take stuff down and put it back up when I drive that's my goal I want and that's how it was like in the Honda I could just drive around I didn't have to take stuff down so I want it to, to be functioning stable and comfortable I think next we'll be doing like lots of kind of just day in life vlogs. That's where I see things are headed now that we've kind of wrapped up the van build series. I can actually start cooking in it. And so for people that enjoy the cooking segments of the videos, there's going to be more of those um, coming up soon. I hope you've enjoyed this tour. Um, if you enjoyed it or learned something or you know, even just want to show support, could you hit the thumbs up button? And also, if this is the first time that you've seen uh, my channel or anything from my channel, I welcome you to subscribe. Um, I've been doing a lot of adventuring and I have a lot of different um, car builds. So, uh, Toyota Corolla. A Honda Pilot. And here we are and then a Dodge van, a 2002 Dodge van. And so I have those built on my channel, as well as now this one. <laughs> and it's not just me, it's also my dog, Ruby. Um, she joined me mid-February, and so she's part of the channel too. And yeah, I welcome you to subscribe and um, there's, it's a beautiful community here and it'd be cool to have you along. Thank you guys. I hope you know how much I appreciate all of you and just all of the support over the last two months, month. I don't know, I've lost track of time, but just over this recent time, thank you for your support. It means so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I mean it when I say that this community has changed my life for the better and thank you um so all right <laughs> um look forward to more vlogs ahead and our live tomorrow although if you're watching this in the future this is saturday so i'm gonna try to post this today we're going live tomorrow sunday i like to do it lives every other sunday so that's also part of this channel too so anyway <laughs> i could go on and on but i hope everybody's doing well see you on the next one